The only thing that sucks about being gay is in order to have a baby that looks half like me and half like my wife, I need my brother's sperm. <laughs> Which is the worst sentence anyone said out loud. I never get tired of talking about the way we made Wolfie because I just, again, grew up thinking this is going to be like this uphill battle. I'll never be able to have a child. This is, you know, these things that you tell yourself when uh, you buy what society tells you. But um, yeah, we met our donor in Mexico. I took a surf lesson and he was my instructor. And I was like, that was a really good lesson. Will you be our baby daddy? Basically, in lesson two, and he said yes. And I mean, the wild thing is, like, my wife is like witchy, burns incense. Like, I met her in San Francisco, you know? She's a kooky little witch. And uh, so she had a dream, like, a year into us dating, like nine years ago. She was like, our baby's name is Wolfie. And I was like, okay, cool. I mean, my mom will be pissed, but, like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm a grown-up now. Uh, and And then when we met... Ricky, who's our donor, he had a tattoo of a wolf on his back. Oh my God. And so it was like, <laughs> duh, meant to be. And you like have this, this like, it like kind of just struck you. And then did you, you like ran to Shauna and you were like, this is it. This I is found a stranger to put his jizz in you. And she was like, I literally just, um, it's the first moment that I'm not puking from food poisoning. You're <laughs> insane. And, but then she met, as soon as she met him, she was like, you know, she's like vibey. And the whole thing was just sort of like, I know, you know, people like when you're looking for signs, you'll find signs. And I hate when people are like, oh, my God, the day that I decided to quit Instagram, a stop sign in front of me. You know, it's like you can go. That's beautiful. You can go like loopy. But Uh like also it's just like it 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 felt very sort of meant to be the whole thing. And then we inseminated on our own, which is something that I I like Mm want to talk about because people feel like they're priced out of yeah. inseminating. But you, but the recipe of sperm inside <laughs> vagina next to cervix... It's cheap. It's cheap. <laughs> it's a cheap recipe. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, if, you, if you're down to know the donor mm-hmm. and, and go that route, it's definitely worth kind of exploring and just kind of keeping an open mind to it. Yeah. What you do... Yeah. Here's, how you, here's how you make a baby without being straight, without... The shortcut. <laughs> uh, number one, keep your eyes open for a donor. Number two, you can get paperwork even online to be like, mm. you know, this is the agreement. Number three, ovulating. I never knew that you only get pregnant, like there's like a 48 hour window every month that a woman gets pregnant. So pee on this like first response stick that like blinks smiley face when it's time to insert the recipe. <laughs> And then um, <laughs> number four, is it number four or number three? Whatever number it is. 3.5. Have fun. <laughs> have fun, babe. But he, he just into a sterile cup. I put it in a sterile syringe, like mm. a needle without a needle. I talked about this in the podcast with Ashley, and she was like, wait, you injected it with a needle? And I'm like, yeah, not in your body, though. Yeah. Like, not like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Why isn't this working? <laughs> but like, you know, not the pointy part, just the part that like mm-hmm. funnels it in. And Naturally. then she raised her hips. We all lay in bed and watch Moana. Oh my God. Great yeah. movie too. Great like, movie. And uh, I feel like that Disney soundtrack probably like tricked him into just like racing towards yeah. where, whatever the yeah, place that you become. Yeah, how far I'll go. The song Yeah, that. how like, far I'll so- go. Oh man. Enough. He also looks like he could be from Moana. <laughs> it has been such a great time for women and such a terrible time for men who have been doing weird shit with their dicks. I feel like so much of the pain in the world is from people feeling like they're not normal. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I think the more dropped into yourself you are, the more you realize there is no normal. We're mm-hmm. all kind of chasing these, like, weird sort of masks that no one really is comfortable wearing or... <laughs> Speaking of masks, that thread was about to mask my face. Yeah, we can't have that. Um, (laughs) But yeah, just like, I've gotten the question a lot from people of like, so how will you explain it to Wolfie? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I mean, I'll tell it to anyone who will listen. I mean, Wolfie's going to know this story like the back of his hand. This is an incredible, I mean, what an intentional way to come into this world. You know, there was like just the idea. I think I look at him and I think about like, there's so many versions of this story that mm-hmm. doesn't end with Wolfie. Mm-hmm. And the first time that we inseminated, he, you know, like the very first 
he had just like a glimmer of a shaving of a sprinkle mm. of a chance and he made it um and he made it so good and it's all thanks to moana and it's all thanks to moana <laughs> to think moana made my baby <laughs> I've been staring at, at the, the edge, edge of, of the water, water trying to find my donut.